it was better than, uh, you know, some of the sex I've ever had. Oh, it certainly gave me a romantic flutter. I mean, well, you know, um, does what it does to a, a man. <laughs> uh, I would describe myself as an eccentric country boy, certainly with my passion for steam engines and uh, horses as well. Anything big mechanical, I absolutely love it. I live for steam engines. In the steam world, yes, I suppose uh, size does matter, you know. The bigger the engine, you know, the, the, the better the man. But I put steam engines over sex any day. I've, uh, I've been in bed with a girl and, and, to be honest, you know, just about to, well, perform, I suppose would be the word. And my friends uh, messaged me and said, the new engine's just coming off the lorry, get, get here now. And I leapt out of bed and ran straight out the door. You know, I, I brand new engine, I, you know, I hadn't seen it before. I have had a couple of one night stands at steam rallies and it's, it's kind of just anywhere it goes. I mean, fire the engine up and it gets yourself fired up as well. On the engine's quite exciting, but you've got to be careful not to burn your ass on the pressure gauge. I've been single quite a while now. I, I get friend zoned instantly normally. The one person I would love to see again is Lorna. We shared a, a kiss at Great Horse at Steam Fair quite a few years ago now. Um, I remember now we, we, we got talking uh, in the cider tent. Um, we'd had quite a few in there. Um, and then we had a wander down at the playpen. And uh, Christ, I remember, yeah, we got up against the back wheel of Metcalf's plowing engine. And uh, we, oh, Christ, I mean, the kiss was that good. I crashed a car on the way home thinking about it. How are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm very well, thank you. <laughs> OK. A bit Did you random. expect it to be me? Not at all. Not one little bit? No. Nope. You look wonderful, by the way. It's Thanks. Really nice. You've got a nice suit. <laughs> pretty good Interesting. suit, this. Surely you've seen this at Dorset before. I mean, I've never really... <laughs> don't think so. <laughs> I think I've only ever met you the once, sir, so... <laughs> that is true. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, when I saw him walk in, I was quite surprised. I wasn't expecting him at all. D didn't know quite how I was going to feel when I, when I saw her, and uh, it, was, it was lovely. Yeah, I mean, did you, do you even remember that evening? Oh, I know we'd had quite a bit to drink. I vaguely. I do, but yeah, vaguely. Just kind of spontaneously happened. I don't think either. Oh, it was just of us... a kiss, wasn't it? Um, it was only just a kiss, but it was a. To be honest, that kiss was better than some one-night stands. The hands were all over. I mean, I, I, and the kiss alone. Well, that was you know really mind blowing. Really, it was better than uh, you know some of the sex I've ever had. Oh, it certainly gave me a romantic flutter. I mean, well, you know. Um, does what it does to a, a man. <laughs> it's not one that I'll forget in a hurry, that's for sure. <laughs> oh, God. She's insanely attractive. Way out of my league. Quite like it to end in a real one night stand, but uh, we'll just have to wait and see. Such a gentleman. You. <laughs> I think I'd like to go and have a bit more of a chat with him tonight, see what happens, just get to know him more. The big question is did their chat end in a real one night stand? We didn't share another, um, you know, phenomenal kiss. I struggled to read Lorna at all. Um, like, I couldn't read, you know, what signal she was giving off. I just, I just couldn't tell what she was thinking. Not sure if I, what I want to get out of it. Maybe just a new friend. <laughs> I mean, I mean, Lorna didn't even remember our one night stand, so it makes me, me question whether it was as special as I, I thought it was. Doors closing.